Hello and welcome to my channel. So today it's the Dual Rubber Mask Moist Wrapping Mask Plus Moisture Barrier Care. And this was from Museum Girl 135 on Instagram. She is just such a lovely girl. Thanks for sending it to me. Um, so yeah, you have this really weird little thing on here. So you've got this little tube at the top, which was just a bit different. Um, so it says, after washing the face, which I have done before this video, you apply step one. And this is step one. You, um, It's a cream pack on the face to provide nourishment to the skin. So you put that, take that off and then pop it onto your face. So I wasn't sure if to leave it there or whatever, but I just did what I thought was right. And that's that. So then you Open step two, which is the rubber pack pouch. You remove the film and place on the face by aligning with the contour of your face, making sure the sheet does not overlap. Now, this is where I get in a right kerfuffle. I haven't even opened it up yet, but um, yeah, I'm going to open it up now. And I get in a right mess. I put it on with the... But then I didn't know that there was going to be two. Yeah. So there's one for the eyes, one for the bottom. And I've got on completely wrong... Michelle, that is the wrong way. Yeah, she notices. Thank goodness. Right, yeah, you turn it around. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Right, then you take um, the film off. Mm -hmm, and you pop it on. Now, this is really weird. It is a proper, proper rubber face mask. It feels like rubber. But then when you touch it, it could like um, fall apart. You can cut it. So it's really strange. Now, it says there, don't let it overlap. So what do I do? I lay it overlap. Okay, so then you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Gently pat the face to promote the absorption. So I have done this. I'm going to leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and let you know how it feels. Now everything on here is Chinese. So I can't really see what it's going to do to me. But I think it's going to be good. It feels really nice on. I love this, like this rubber but look see what i meant when i said in the in the video so you can just like totally peel it away from each other it's really strange so um yeah Ooh, that was really nice to wear it just feels nice it goes onto your skin so much easier than some face mask because it's that rubber i absolutely love that um right okay so now it says to remove the mask and gently pat the face to promote the absorption of the cream pack residue into the skin. Now, maybe I should have <laughs> got rid of all that cream before I put the mask on. Oh. So I'm gently patting. Is that gentle? Heavy handed girl that I am. If you follow my channel, you will know that this is the case. Heavy handed is for sure. Right, okay, so I think we'd be patting for the next five years for that to absorb. That's crazy. It's still super duper wet. Right, I'm gonna just keep patting, but I'm not gonna do it on here. You're gonna be like, that was one minute of patting. So I'll be back in a minute when it's dry and let you know how it feels. Okay, I'm back. In the end, I just kind of smoothed it out. My face is still quite wet, um, but I just decided to do that instead of the pattern. It's kind of got that sticky texture now, so I think it'll take a while before it dries. But anyway, with the rubber face mask, I had a real good time trying that. I think it was really, really cool to try it. And I love the mask. I love the rubber. I love the smell. The smell's lemony, but um, yeah, just a lemony smell. So yeah, I quite liked using that face mask. And I think the rubber is just a bit different. And putting the little cream on before was a bit different as well. My face feels fabulous. Doesn't feel anything out of the ordinary. Feels like it does after every face mask. But that face mask was really good. It stuck to your face really, really well. And when I lay back, it does have eye holes as well. I put a picture in about here. Um, and these eye hole things you can put across your eyes while you're relaxing, I think. I didn't do it because I hate my eyes being covered. It really freaks me out. So I didn't do that. But um, yeah, there was an option there to do it. 
So all in all, I think it was a really, really cool face mask to use and something a bit different. I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for sending me this. I don't know if um, you want me to say your name, but Museum Girl 135 for sure is on Instagram. And for her to send me this, it's brilliant. I just love it. She was also my competition winner and won my Elvis CD. So yeah, thank you so much for sending me that face mask. I honestly loved it. I thought it was a great experience. And if you ever see that face mask in Superdrug or Boots or wherever you are and you fancy it, I would totally recommend it a wee try because it is a nice mask. It's lovely. My face feels nice. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me today. All right, thanks for joining me on this video. It's late night now. It's about half past 10. It's not really late, but it's late for me. I'm going off to bed now. Okay, take care of yourself. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you on another video. Channel, comment below, press the bell button, thumbs up, thank you.